requested video. I did a no jumping hip workout a few months ago, a few weeks ago, and you guys loved it so much. So here is another one. I know that depending where you are, you might not want to make noise if you live in an apartment or you just have bad knees or you just want something that's a little more on the beginner side. So I created just kind of like a no jumping hit workout. It's still going to get you sweating and working, especially if you give each exercise your all, but we're not going to jump or do anything that's going to be tough on the joints. First, I will talk really quick, I promise, super quick about nutrition because nutrition is so, so important, especially when it comes to burning fat. You lose fat by being in a caloric deficit. Obviously, you can just do a ton of exercise and try to burn everything off, but you're going to get to your goals much faster and much better if you just make sure you're getting nice, whole, nutritious meals and you're not eating really sneaky, high calorie foods. I also know there are a ton of concerns about losing um, your muscles and your muscle gains when you are trying to lose fat and stay in a caloric deficit. It's inevitable, you're gonna lose just, just a little bit. However, you can minimize how much you lose by implementing supplements and tons of protein into your diet. And one of my favorite supplements to take when I'm trying to kind of maintain my muscle but tone down and cut, like, you know, get cut and lean, are BCAs. BCAs are amazing, they are branched chain amino acids. These are essential amino acids, meaning you need to get this from your diet, your body doesn't create this. I'm not gonna get into the whole science of branching amino acids because we ain't got that kind of time. I'm just gonna tell you why they're important and how to take them. When you consume BCAs, they get delivered to your muscles quite quickly and they help with muscle repair, muscle endurance, muscle growth, recovery after your workout. I make the BCAs right before my workout and I just take it with me if I'm going to the gym or if I'm working out at home. I'll drink it kind of throughout my workout and a little bit after. They also make water taste super good, which is amazing for me because I struggle to get my water intake. Like I'm never drinking enough water, so that's always a plus. My favorite flavors are blueberry, the bomb lemon iced tea because I love tea like it literally tastes like the Lipton iced tea you know the powder that you put in water to make the iced tea it tastes just like that it's incredible it tastes so good also the watermelon flavor is the bomb fruit fusion oh my god I can't pick <laughs> there's too many anyway if you would like to shop women's best the link is in my description it would mean the world to me if you shop through my special link if you are looking to buy anything it will help me continue my partnership with women's best which in turn will help me continue to create free content just for you guys. I also have a promo code that you can use, it's Vicky10, you can save yourself 10% off at checkout. Depending on when you're watching this, they might have a better sale going on, you will always see that up on their site, so if you just click the link in my description, you can see if there's a better sale, or if you just want to use my promo code to get yourself 10% off, you can do just that. Okay, let's do this workout. Okay, so we're doing 7 exercises for 60 seconds on and 30 seconds rest, so it's going to be a nice 10 minute workout, which is like a good, good amount of time. So we're going to start off with some windmills, so when you hear the timer beep, you're going to go ahead and do it for 60 seconds. So ready? Go to one leg, come up, go to the other. So I like to come up to the middle and then go down. Let's go all 60 seconds. It may seem like it's easy at first, but once you get to second 60, you'll be like, Jesus. Let's go. Get that arm up behind you. Come on, let's go. Keep going. Come all the way up. Don't cut corners. Don't cheat yourself. This one feels nice. It's like wind in the hair, you know? Especially for when you're sweaty. Let's go. 20 seconds left. Let's go. Come on. Slight bend at the knees, arm all the way up behind you. Almost done. And come up. Whew. That was a nice little warmer to get us started. We've got 30 seconds of rest. Well, 23 now. To get my water. Next up, we've got frog squats. Ooh, these burn. So for those frog squats, you want to make sure that your arms are pushing against your knees and your knees are pushing against your arms, okay? So that kind of tension will really help you feel the burn. So ready? Come up, back down. So you don't have to straighten your legs out completely. I know depending on how flexible you are, you can only go up so much. So just go up as high as you can. But the point is that you keep pressing, okay? Keep pressing with your elbows. 
Really feel that tension. Press in with your knees so you can really feel the burn in your legs. I need a minute. Damn. All right. Keep going. Let's go. You're almost there. seconds. Come on, keep going. You got this. I can do it. You can do it. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go. Ah. Wow, my legs are burning there. Whew. All right, catch your breath. Next, we've got some plank runners. So we're getting some cardio and a little bit of muscle action here as well. So go ahead and get done to plank position. I like to do this one on my hands, it gives my knees more space to uh, run. Alright, ready? Bring your knee up and switch. Let's go, come on, keep going. Do a full minute, keep your back straight. Don't round it like this or drop your hips. Keep it nice and straight and strong. Let's go. Thirty more seconds. Oh, oh my god, my hands are slipping. Let's go, you're almost there. Almost time for rest. Come on, keep going, keep pushing yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. And come down. Damn, that was a kid on the arms as well. Catch your breath, get some water if that is necessary. And let's do reverse burpees. So this one, when you come up, you're not gonna jump. You're just gonna do a nice little clap at the top. And you're gonna start off on the floor. So you can use your knees to wrap yourself forward. Clap, come down. Clap, come down. Clap, come down. Let's go, do it as fast as you can. Let's go. Make sure you get those arms up and clap. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, girls. We got this. Oh my God. Use your core to get yourself up. Almost there, a few more seconds. Wowzers, that's a good one. Oh, now I've got some X squats, a little more leg action here. Great, lovely, so exciting. So make sure with these, we're not jumping, you're really doing the full out of each movement. So for the X, Squats, make sure you really reach up high and come down low. Really give it your all so you know you're not wasting your time. So ready? Squat to one side, reach up. Reach up. Other side. Alternating sides. So one side, down, other side, down. Let's go. Reach all the way up. Strong arms. Let's go. 30 more seconds. Come on, you got this. Almost done. Catch your breath and keep going. Let's go. 
We are fierce cardio queens. Keep saying it until you believe it. Okay. Catch your breath. Okay, now we're doing a step up burpee. So, not really a full up burpee where you have to jump. This is a little burpee. Try doing these exercises, even if you feel like you're dying with a smile on your face. So it's like kind of funny, you're like, yeah, let's go. But I think putting a smile on your face will kind of help you push through it in some weird way. So ready? Get into plank position, step up and down. Up and down. So when you come up, really thrust your arms forward with force. Like punch the sky. The more energy you use in these movements, the more calories you're gonna burn and the more fat you will burn. And that's what we're trying to do here. Go, punch. Just punch the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. When you kick your legs out behind you, kick them strong. Let's go. Just 10 more seconds. Almost there. We got this. Let's go. You've got just one more exercise after this. One more exercise and we are all done. Catch your breath. Okay. Woo. This next one I have to call a standing bicycle crunch. So alternating sides. Remember, strong arms. Ready? Go one side, other side. Pretend you're grabbing someone's forehead and breaking their face with your knee. Like they just messed with you and you mean business. Let's go. Bring your elbows over to the side of your knee. Let's go. This is kind of a badass move. Really bring your arms down with force. Let's go, keep going. Let's go. If you need to take a breath, take one quick breath and keep going. Only 13 more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Ah, uh, freaking amazing. So that was today's no jumping hit workout. I told you guys this was gonna get sweaty, okay? Don't let the no jumping fool ya. It was intense. If you're looking for more of a cardio burn, you can go ahead and give this workout one more try, but I personally am done. So now I'm gonna go have my Twix bar and watch some Netflix because I deserved it, okay? And so do you, if that's what you feel like having. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next workouts. Yeah.